How's it going, people? It is Liam Cattleson here, and we are reacting to Once Upon a Time with episode 15 for season 3, uh, which this arc has been pretty, pretty tasty so far. It's been really interesting to see um, over the course of the three ep uh, past three episodes how uh, interesting the Wicked Witch's story has become, um, especially with the last episode. We had a bit of Rapunzel, um, which was really, really neat, but we also uh, seemingly are on a bit of of a i don't know kind of totem hunt with um with the wicked witch seemingly collecting symbols of um what we come to know from the wizard of oz such as uh david's courage that got taken in the last episode and seemingly rumpelstiltskin's mind um as now everyone well i would say everyone but um a bunch of people now know that he is back alive so um yeah it'll be very very interesting to see how um they interact with him because he's not the same person that he was when he sacrificed himself um he's more so his uh enchanted forest self so yeah but um i am really loving the wicked witch of the west story and uh uh yeah it'll be very interesting to see what does happen in this episode so with that said let's get into episode number 15 for season three for one once upon a time, let's go. Okay. Well, if that was his plan, then obviously something went wrong. Because while gold might be alive and kicking, Neil is... He's... We don't know Yeah, what, what is up with is. Neil? We I'm just really worried. We don't even know No one's seen him since this new curve. He'll protect you if the witch comes. You do know he tried to kill me. No, I was uh, gonna say, last time these two were together, twice. not really... You know, great reception. Sorry? You really know how to charm a girl, don't you? This will be my way of making it up to you. Fine. All right, we should really get out into the woods. He also knows how to charm me as well. One shelf at a time. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Did you say something? Oh. To introduce myself. What the hell? No need to be sweet. I am but a humble servant. Wait, that's not Rumpel, is it? No. Hey! He's here! Neil! Okay, my worries can be thrown out the window. <laughs> Tell me what. Neil, we think your dad's back. Back? I just watched him die. What do you mean? It's also back? been a year. Take it easy. What the hell? Oh, I'm, I'm oh, guessing yeah. this is. I was there when I woke up. Bro. Oh. So my son has no clue who I really am. He just thinks I'm the jerk that abandoned him. Oh, we have to goody. get his memories back. We have to fix this. There has to be somebody who can... The Blue Fairy or, or my father that... New York. He was really happy in New York with our life. Oh, you know, I feel so bad for Neil. Not only desperate, blind. Release me. I have aided you enough. I'd watch your tone, Candle. There's more to be done, and you shall do it. It's got a name. Unless you desire being the wax seal on an envelope. Ooh. Uh. I mean, you're creating a whole new person. <laughs> now drink up. I wouldn't trust anything that she... Like, I don't know what's in that orange juice. What she put in that orange juice. What have you put in that orange juice? Just don't get in my way. I would oh, what she, uh, what she said in the last have, episode. Or well, not the last episode, before? but... I doubt I'd ever forget meeting you. If these two don't bang by the end of the season, I'm gonna throw hands. I am in your way. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh! What the hell are you doing? This is long over you. Sometimes when I look at you, all I see is a man. I forget then. Beneath it all, you're still that boy. The one I looked after all those years ago. Oh, yeah. By the witch, do you know where she is? Yeah. <sighs> She's... There's no room! No room! It's too many voices! Too Holy many voices. shit! Uh-oh! Woo! Oh! 
is a liquid that can conjure courage, give strength, or even act as a love potion of sorts. <laughs> Ooh, we are pushing things it's with these two. Let's go. And no, it's not magical. Especially the next day. Need to write that down, whiskey lover. <laughs> you want to have a drink? No. It does create a bit of courage with me, not gonna lie. Surely. Bell! Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I was gonna say. Go you sure about this? I spent 200 years in Rumpelstiltskin's library witnessing more dark magic and sorcery than any living creature has ever seen. You could have just said, Are you doubting me? How long did you say you were there? 200 years, at least. She told you to lead us here? She wants you to bring back the Dark One so she can mm. control him with his dagger. Well, it seems like she would on that this front, place. but how? Yeah, wait. It means we can bring him back. Does it matter who got us here? Oh. Well, he didn't sacrifice his life for good so he could return to be a slave to... <sighs> and there we go. Oh. Oh. Might need some cream for that, buddy. He truly is the dark one. <laughs> New York, huh? I like the pizza. Oh, like gloop. Did like it? Ugh. He loves pizza. I've been living there. Jewish. He proposed. Wow. And then he turned into a flying monkey. Double ouch, right? Sounds intense. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. I almost married a monster from Oz. It's hilarious. I almost married a minion of my evil grandfather, Peter Pan. <laughs> I know what you're saying. <laughs> oh. Oh, I do love that Baltic, though. Oh, Neil! Oh. Neil? Oh, oh. no. Neil. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, my goodness, no. Oh. You've lost yourself. Oh, my God. And this is how, oh my god. Do it. Oh no, Neo. He just needs to know that in the end I was a good father. Oh my goodness. Give to you again. Take it. Go find your legacy. Make a true sacrifice. It's about saving the ones that you love. No. It's my turn now. No. It shouldn't be. Oh, Neil. Oh, fuck. Neil's dead. I, I hate it here. I, I really do. I'm just heartbroken. 
was rather ill-timed. Oh, come on. They may know who I am now, but it no longer matters. Not when I have you. Oh, because he's a I tank to her. Brain. There we go. There's the brain. So be a good little dark one. Courage, brain, heart. Back in your cage. I was not ready to be sad in this episode, but here we are. Oh, Hook, no! He's a good man. He would have been a great father. There's one thing I need you to know about him. A hero. I wish I would have known. <laughs> oh my goodness, this hurts so much. I got away. But I'm going to find them. We're gonna kill that asshole. We're gonna kill her. We're gonna watch her melt and she'll be screaming, I'm melting, I'm melting! And then we'll say good riddance. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't expecting to be emotional in that episode, but... And it just hurts as well, because Henry's, you know, obviously still out the loop of um, the whole fairy tale thing. But when he gets his memories back, he... I think that's going to hit, because he will then know his experiences with Neil and that's when it will hit like a like a train won't it because all those memories are going to keep uh, are going to flood back with what he knows being out the loop put two and two together and it's going to hurt like a son of a oh my god so thanks for this episode for hurting me. Great stuff. Well, this episode sucked emotionally. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, I was not coming into this episode, um, you know, expecting to be that emotional. I didn't, you know, think that we would lose Neil, but yeah, I mean, he was on, he, he was not looking too good, was he, with, uh, the fact that he could only, I guess, exist within Rumpel, so otherwise he wasn't going to survive for the long haul, so yeah. And not just that, though, but like, Rumpel had to be insane. Um, So for that sanity to, to return to Rumpel, Neil had to, yeah, because that was the cost with uh, Neil bringing back Rumpel, it was a a soul for a soul wasn't hit, so, but hence why, uh, the reason why Neil was alive was because of, uh, the fact that there was that absorption, um, and that was the reason why, um, he was hearing multiple voices, it was him and Neil, um, in, yeah, so, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a push forward in terms of trying to bring down Zelina, but um, it's not a one that you could be, you know, too happy about. Especially with Emma losing Neil again. And for good this time. It's the same with Rumpel losing Neil, but this time for good. So, because I feel like that's a finality in terms of... Because um, obviously we had that near death moment with, with Neil, but he, you know, was alive. So, woo. This time, it's it, there's a finality about it. The way of how emotional it was, how you had two um, characters that were his greatest loves, really. His his papa and Emma. Not just that, though, but it gives the Wicked Witch a bit of a push. It gives um, things a bit of an elevation for her character and her villainy. So, yeah. And it's it's just a sad occasion, really. It's a soul for a soul. So I don't think they're going... Like, I don't think we're going to have 
Neil return whatsoever. I think that was it with how emotional it was and yeah. Oh, that was really, really rough though. Um, and I just feel so bad for, for Henry as well, because obviously he's out of the loop. Um, so yeah, but at least they know, but still the witch does have a bit of a tank on, uh, on her with Rumpelstiltskin because now, because she does have the dagger. And uh, she has that control, so that's great. But, um, yeah, it's just what damage has she done already as well, like with Snow, because um, she's left her mark. Everyone knows, but I feel like it might not be uh, <coughs> um, enough, if that makes sense. So, yeah, but... Still, really, really great episode, and um, one that you could really see the parallels as well, Neil making that sacrifice, and then, you know, a couple of episodes back, you had Rumpel make that sacrifice as well, so uh, all in order to try and stop the big bad. In episode 11, it was Rumpel um, stopping Pan, and um, now we have an identity on who the Wicked Witch of the West is. So, you never know. Without that information, they might not have been able to bring down um, Zelina. Because they will eventually do so at some point. Who knows? I mean, I hope so. Because um, we're going to have a few more seasons of Zelina. But um, no, this is going to be probably big in terms of bringing down Zelina. Because there's that inevitability that she will um, cease to exist. Maybe... She will melt as well. So I do I do suspect that's the way she's going to go. So yeah, but like I said, without that information, then we might not have a way to bring down Zelina. So, but it's all about what damage has she done already. So and what further damage can she do? So yeah, but um, it was really devastating. And I really loved that talk regard at the end when emma talks about the heroic efforts that was that neil did to henry and um you know just a bit of similarities there really because um rumpel can now give out that information and be some cat well he not just that though but with the events of um these, I guess, last several episodes in season three, there's been a more heroic side that Neil has saw from his father, and now he's, uh, and now, well, when Henry gets his memories back, he will surely think of that with with Neil, and that's going to be really emotional because, like I said, everything's going to come rushing back to Henry, and it might be too much because you have all those memories because Henry right now he doesn't really know his father. But when his memories are restored and, you know, he remembers the memories that he shared with his father, then, yeah, it's going to hurt. So, yeah, but um, I really, really did. Um, yeah, I really l loved just the way that we brought back uh, Rumpel. It wasn't, you know, anything too easy. There had to be a cost. And even so, Rumpel was trying to find ways to preserve him. So... Um, instead, he just decides to absorb Neil completely and uh, preserve him, in a sense. But that came at the cost of um, his own sanity. So there's a bit of, bit of a parallel there with um, Rumpel making that sacrifice, uh, the sanity of his mind, and Neil making that sacrifice for the total uh, death for him. Um, and this was all, um, yeah, th th this, that was it really. That was all down to sacrifice. They were willing to do something, um, very, very big, um, because of, I guess, devastating effects for, um, Neil's sacrifice. This was all about, um, you know, unveiling the mystery that is who the Wicked Witch of the West is. And Rumpel didn't want to let go like he didn't want to lose his son again so he decided to keep him rather than, uh, rather than them two being split apart
by literally being joined rather than being split apart physically. So, oy. um, but I feel, I feel like given their relationship as well, I feel like that is a really great way to try and preserve Neil as much as you can before he does, you know, totally die because they have been split apart. So let's join him physically, I guess. So yeah, but, um, yeah, I'm going to miss Neil. And, um, I did really like their chat, uh, like, uh, Emma and, um, Neil's chat as well. It was very, very, um, nice. But I also really liked that making of amends between Neil and Hook as well. Because obviously, love, the love triangle was there. But uh, that embrace, reflecting on old times, was just really, really nice. I do feel like there is something up with Hook, though. Like, not in terms of, okay, this is not Hook. This is someone else. I feel like there is a bit more that... I don't know. He might not be letting on. Because there is, there is a mystique uh, surrounding him. And there has been in the last episode as well. I feel like there is... Uh, I don't know. It might just be me, but there is that... I don't know. Crypticness. That, that cryptic aura around him in a sense. I don't know. But that's just my two cents on the matter. But yeah, like I said, it's going to be, uh, like, Neil is going to be a devastating loss, um, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to miss him, so, yeah, very, very powerful stuff. But at least we got, um, we do have normal rump back, um, yeah, we have normal rumple, um, back in the picture, so, but obviously that came at the sacrifice of, yeah, so... But um, it's still not all plain sailing for him because, um, of course, Selena has control of his mind. Mind, courage, heart, that's all that's needed. So, yeah, but um, really, really powerful stuff in terms of, um, you know, that departure of Neil and, yeah. But there was also a really, really yeah, great moment with Regina and Robin, which I do really love their chemistry um, so much. Like I said, if they don't bang by the end of this season, no, not going to be happy. But they spark so well. And obviously Regina knew um, in this episode of the symbol because of uh, what Tinkerbell um, tried in terms of her fighting her soulmate. And like she did in that episode in the flashback, she decided to bolt it again. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, Regina's got been going through the ringer. And obviously we knew in episode... Um, 13 that she was beating herself up and uh, obviously there was that depression that surrounded her in regards to losing henry and not being able to uh, feeling like she's not able to feel that love um and i feel like that kind of still take like especially with the fact that henry is there in storybook but she doesn't know who regina is that there is that feeling that she can't enact on this like she knows that Robin is now confirmed to be the um, soulmate that Tink tried to set her up with. But, yeah, she still bolted. So, And there was even a little spark between them. So, yeah. Um, so I hope that can all kind of be rectified because they do have some great chemistry. But I really loved some of the echoing from episode 13 in the flashbacks to when uh, she was like, don't get in my way. I wouldn't, you know, dream of it. Um, obviously that was the, the, they quote the same thing, um, they quote the same thing, um, in that episode, so that was really good. Also loved seeing Lumiere, uh, in this as well, um, and, you know, how he came to be with the face above the candle, uh, sticks, that was really, really well done, of course, as well as finding out, um, how he was trapped and, um, how the witch was basically puppeteering him. So, um, yeah, I really, really loved his incorporation, of course, with Neil and uh, Belle trying to find a way to bring um, Rumpel back. But, yeah, um, really emotional stuff. Didn't like this emotional look. <laughs> I don't like her. But, um, no, it was a really solid episode. And I, like I said, a really good send-off to Neil's character. Like I said, this is definitely, a fin you can definitely sense the finality in, in you know, this departure from Neil rather than uh, the other episode when Tamara shot him. So, yeah, but um, really, really emotional, but 
good stuff for this episode. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!